Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube where we're here with a, a new league this is the KTM Crossbow League set up by GW Gurnell and it's hosted by himself by Race Asylum and in association with Player.com Gaming Made Easier and this is going to be something quite different and quite crazy these cars are set up to have very heavy fuel usage and massive tyre degradation so they've got to look after those tyres very carefully try not to spin them off the start guys because you want to keep those rear tyres intact for as long as possible Melty leads us away, King is trying to go around the outside we're here of course at Brands Hatch this is the indie layout of the circuit so it's, it's a much shorter track and this is 10 laps they're going to be uh, rounds between the three racers with reverse grids to really mix and mess things up and Gorilla Gaz has lost it oh that's going to do nothing for his tyres I've, I've driven these and believe me as soon as you, you step out of line and skid like Reese Racing just has that is it those tyres they start to go down a very slippery slope Melty there leading us away bit of a wibble at the back Everybody else seems to be more or less intact But I don't know how long for it's the first race of the season so everyone's still getting used to how these cars behave in a race And it looks like we've gone to the front of this Melty Oh, Melty just got sideways And he's allowed King Ears and Famished Uncouth through To come back, back underneath Famished Uncouth in second So much action But Shinner there in fourth, he's just lurking in the background waiting for somebody to fall off uh, as long as he doesn't fall off himself, of course, because that would be bad news. Reese Racing at the back, uh, but in very last place, it's Gorilla Gaz, who's had that massive accident earlier. Oh, we've got smoke, tyre smoke. Uh, um, Famished Uncouth, I think, just lost the back end, allowing Melty through. It's so difficult to keep these cars pointing in the right direction. Uh, they're, they're not using high grip tyres, as you can see. And this is a very difficult section of track when you've got grip. Oh, Melty again, sideways and sideways again. Big tank slapper. <laughs> He's managed to keep it pointing in the right direction. Lost a few spaces, but it could have been a lot worse. He's down there with G-Dub and Bad Dog. Uh, I know it does sound like an 80s rap group. It's not. And Chris, what happened to you? We didn't see anything, but you are a mile back. Oh well, let's hope that reverse grid is kind to Chris in race two. King is coming up to, s to finish lap three. These laps are absolutely ticking by. Uh, Famish Uncouth there. In fact, it looks like the race has settled down somewhat. This race very much go fast, but not too fast that you crash. Famish Uncouth on a bit of a wibble at the back. Shinner up into third, we've got somebody in the, in the gravel, that's Melty. Oh, Melty gone from the lead to the gravel. That's it, once those tyres start to go off, nah, there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to uh, really, really nurse the car. You can see there, Chris not throwing the car in, and Melty, despite the fact that he was going quite slowly through there, as soon as he put any power on, the back end was just gone. First to last challenge. Oh, we've got somebody off at the front as well. Two cars off at the front as those tyres start to burn out. That puts GW Gurnell up into third. So who did we lose? Uh, we lost Shinner. Shinner was one of the cars who went. I don't know if Bad Dog had an incident. Oh, King is there. Almost sideways. And that allows Famished Uncouth through into first. Oh, wow, look at them just just all over the place those back ends as soon as they put the power down wanted to step out just like that oh that's not going to the tyres any good Famished Uncouth uh, King is absolutely all over him right now I think everybody else is still on track how we're doing Reese Race has managed to make it back up to 6th after being last so he's he's having a good comeback Shinner in 5th okay Famished Uncouth have you got Oh, Melty's got some new rubber on. Has Famished Uncouth got a slipstream here? Is this a run? It's not. Got to be very, very careful. Got somebody else off. It's Gorilla Gaz again. Oh, those rear tyres absolutely ruined at this point. Look at the way the back end is just sliding around as he puts the power on. 
That looks absolutely undrivable, but he's not pitting. He's staying out. That's very, very brave. Back end there, stepping out as well on Famished Uncouth. Everybody's struggling, but King Ears looks absolutely serene at the front right now. No handling issues at all. That's an amazing drive. Who have we got off here? Gorilla Gaz again. Oh, Gaz, come on, get rid of those tyres. They're hurting you, man. Oh, up at the front, there's a bit of a gap here forming. See Forest Uncouth, the back end skating around. Uh, King Ears looks far more planted. Uh, these cars don't have traction control. So as soon as things start to go wrong with those rear tyres, they really, really go wrong. Shinner goes underneath, bad dog into that first corner. Can he hold it? Can they both hold it? We've got sparks ahead, so somebody was very, very wide. Is Bad Dog coming back underneath? He's not. Okay. It looks as though... Oh, uh, Reese Racing was off. Melty was off. I think GW Gurnell had a bit of an issue because... All the drivers caught right up to him. We've got Gorilla Gaz off. Oh, this is... This is being... Oh, I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't see anything like it. The front two drivers sideways through that last corner. Oh, Famished is two sideways. That's going to allow G-Dub and Shinner to have a run. Of course, Famished isn't going to be at full speed going over the line. Gurnell takes second. Shinner takes third. That is how quickly things can turn around in this series. And Shinner there goes underneath Gurnell and says it's Famished uncouth. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Action happening all the time. Incredible stuff. King Ears is just squirreling off up ahead, but doesn't want to make any mistakes right now because these guys are coming. They're going to try and hunt him down. Uh, G-Dub fighting there with Famished on Kuth. We've got Chris Portier, who was a long way back, and he's now lurking in fifth, trying to get some moves in. He's catching up nicely. Oh, Famished there loses it. Onto the grass. Has to correct a snap of oversteer. And uh, that's allowed GW Gurnell to get away a little bit. It's allowed Chris 48 to catch up a little bit. I think there was somebody sideways there, but somebody being lapped. It might have been Gorilla Gaz. There's King Ears trying to... Oh, it's a good job they've got the ghost mode on for lapped cars. Because Reese Racing would have just wiped out the leader if that wasn't the case. Famish there trying to come underneath g -Dub, And he manages it. Good work. Good clean pass, but oh, it's so well to keep the car on track at that point. Now I've got Chris in the mix as well. Oh, Famish is off. Gets into the side of Chris. Oh, and it all goes wrong after running so close to the front of the pack for so long. To be down into fifth. Really unlucky there. Really unlucky. Battle for the last step on the podium. Between Chris and GW Gurnell, very, very close. We've got Famished Uncouth off. So those tyres have given up. And they've had enough. They want no more involvement in this race. And I've got to say, I don't blame them. Oh, Shinner sideways from second. Can he keep it going before Gurnell carries on? Before Gurnell catches up, rather. That's, that's just too much happening. I can't get my mouth in order. Now, that is Gurnell throwing to second. Uh, Chris into third. Reese having all kinds of issues there, but he's ghosted, luckily. This is the final lap. King Ears has got to survive about 20 more seconds on these tyres to come out in first. Somebody is spinning right around in the middle of their mini-map, and somebody spinning around next to them. So that's all synchronised and very nice. Thank you very much. Very, very careful. Very gentle on the throttle. What a run. What an opening race to this series. King Ears, well done for that win. We've got Gurnell coming out in second, he's going to be pleased with that. Chris in third. Bad Dog fourth. Famished on Coos fifth. Shinner. Managing to breathe in sixth. Uh, we've got Reese in seventh. They hate Melty, doing what the car's been doing for the entire race. In eighth. And then in ninth place, Gorilla Gaz. Wow, but don't, don't think like you've lost or anything, because that was epic and heroic. Thank you very much for watching it. We're going to have to do the two parts of this coming up very, very soon. Oh, I need to go and lie down. Have a rest. Thank you to the Discord. You guys are legends. Thank you to you for watching. You're a hero for making it this far. If you're new around here, 
Well, go and touch some buttons. Press a bell. See what happens. And until next time, be good to those around you. Be good to yourself. Bye-bye for now.